Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. Well, what started out not too bad of a day, at least in terms of the uh, appearance of a little sun this morning, has really turned into a gray Friday evening, and the clouds are going to be with us through the a majority of the weekend until we get to the day on Sunday. Right now, kind of the beginning phases of the rain showers, very light rain showers, very isolated as well. You can see that on live first warning Doppler radar, kind of around the radar site in Gibson County, out towards the east, a little bit to the west and southwest as well. This is uh, just in the process of developing and pushing to the northeast. Very light rain, really no impacts to any Friday evening plans that you may have. Just maybe keep in mind that you may run into a brief shower later this evening. Could pick up a little bit in intensity overnight tonight, but not so much in terms of coverage. I think still pretty spotty and scattered overnight tonight, but it's also the overnight hours where the winds will really start to increase. We'll go anywhere from 20 to 25 miles per hour, could push 30 miles per hour uh, for some of those gusts as that system starts to lift from the south and that warmer air lifting in as well. We'll take a closer look. You can see, again, very light rain returns there, uh, not really amounting to all that much. That's going to be the theme as we head into the rest of your Friday evening. And again, maybe some pockets of more moderate rain in those very isolated cells that develop late tonight before the main event unfolds for our kind of midday hours on Saturday. But outside right now, the evening commute on this Friday in full swing as we take a live look from our Ellis Park Tower camera. It looks like traffic is moving smoothly on both north and southbound uh, bridges there, uh, but it is picking up a little bit. So uh, uh, the typical Friday evening drive there. But again, no issues rain-wise. Uh, anything that you run into, very light. So no issues there. A beautiful scene as we look towards the Blue Bridge from the Owensboro Riverfront from our Bill Morgan Roofing and Construction Tower camera. And finally, along the Evansville Riverfront downtown from our Superior Ag Tower camera where temperatures are holding steady, not moving all that much today, and they're really not going to move all that much as we go into this evening. The clouds and those southerly winds are going to be enough to really keep temperatures stable. 57 right now, winds fairly light out of the south at 6 miles per hour. But again, as we go deeper into tonight, we'll start to increase and become a little more windy, a little gusty as well. And that's going to hold temperatures steady. We may briefly drop into the low to mid 50s before getting back to the mid to upper 50s again closer to daybreak tomorrow morning. And temperatures ranging from the mid 50s up to the north and northeast uh, from Jasper down to Santa Claus at mid 50s, 54, 55 respectively there. Also 55 over in Fairfield across the Wabash, 56 in Carmi, but some 60s still along and south of the Western Kentucky Parkway, including Beaver Dam and Greenville, both at 60 degrees in the warm spot over in Hopkins County, Madisonville coming in right now at 62 degrees. And this is something we'll be watching as we go into the evening. Again, all is calm and quiet right now, but we'll see those wind speeds, both sustained speeds and those gusts really start to pick up as we go deeper into this evening and especially overnight tonight. So here's an updated future tracker showing the timing of our rain and storm changes as we head into tomorrow. Again, overnight tonight, we could see some pockets Pockets of heavier rainfall, as you see here by 11 o'clock, close to midnight. Some pockets of heavy rain, but very sparse in uh, coverage. So not an all-night rain, not a guarantee that you see the rain tonight. Better chances, though, as we head into tomorrow as well. Here we are starting by daybreak tomorrow morning. A few showers starting to develop and then increasing as we approach the lunch hour. Watch here between 10 to about noon uh, tomorrow. The rain really starts to lift from the south up to the north, and then that cold front sweeps from west to east, keeping most of the intense coverage and that slightly higher chance of strong to severe storms to the south and southeast of the tri-state. Future Tracker has been kind of trending that way as we go through the afternoon of keeping most of the heavier widespread activity east into the southeast of Evansville. But I think a good amount of rain, or at least a good chance of rain, as we head into your Saturday afternoon. But the trends still show that we should be dry and quiet shortly after sunset tomorrow evening. I think anywhere from 6 o'clock at the earliest to maybe as late as 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. So maybe some salvageable time Saturday evening. But it's going to be breezy and turning colder for the second half of the weekend. Low temperatures while we wake up on Sunday morning right around or just above free freezing and then struggling to get out of the 30s for a breezy day on Sunday with highs right around 40 degrees and a mix of sun and clouds as well. So overnight tonight, we'll see those temperatures start to uh, bottom out into the mid 50s before returning to the upper 50s. Here's a look at the Storm Prediction Center's outlook real quick. That marginal level one threat mainly for some strong damaging winds for the southeast half of the tri-state and go out of the tri-state really so far southern tip there of Muhlenberg County is included in that slight level two risk. Not too concerned about organized uh, shower storms that could be severe. A chilly start to the work week, low 40s on Monday. But once again, a very nice work week on the way. High pressure keeps us dry and allows plenty of sunshine with high temperatures most of next week between 50 and 55 degrees.